Ubisoft released a new armor set, weapon, mount and other items and we also after a week of being broken got a new red eye refresh that is still okay. It does have one new shield so a ton to go over, a like on the video would of course really help me out and let's go. Congrats to Sambi Demon for winning the Helix Credit Pack giveaway number 9. You were randomly selected by the website I use and I will send you a gift card for 2300 Helix Credits. And I already started a new Helix Credit Pack giveaway and you can enter that one via the link in the pinned comments. And these giveaways are for subscribers of the channel only. Good luck. Okay, so I will touch on that new armor set that you can also win with my giveaway in a moment. But first, let's go over the new items that Red Eye is selling. Because there are some things for sale that I don't think we've ever seen before. One of them is the new shield, the Celtic Cross. That is pretty bad, so like no need for extra ability damage. But I do think it looks kind of cool. And as I showed you before in a previous video, Ubisoft now openly confirmed that they're still working on the Transmog system. And we'll release it as soon as development and testing has concluded. So yeah, it will be quite nice to use the visual of this shield while using a better one. But it's not like a must buy or anything. And I kind of feel the same about the other items. The Moonin skin is pretty cool for Sunin. But I would argue that there are better ones. Even that you can get like just at the stable. The very man of the death statue for the settlement is for sale as well. With like plants over it. I think the statue is pretty cool but it's overall not worth the opal. And some people were speculating that mounts and bird skins were removed from Red Eye. But this is false because we also see a mount in the daily selection. So for 24 hours. And this is from the Hoodoo Folk armor set. And for a horse with armor I think it looks pretty cool. It might be worth your opal if you're looking for a cool new mount. Although on paper we should be able to get the wolf mount and the molten wolf mount in the rotation at Reda as well. So maybe save the 150 opal for one of those because they can appear although we don't know when. And by the way before you maybe forget the community challenge in the Ubisoft Connect section is completed. If you go to the time limited challenges here. So if you've already won one Orlo game. Then you will be able to collect 10 extra Opal. Otherwise you just have to win one Orlock before Thursday to also claim it. And there are of course also other time limited challenges here for extra Opal. If you haven't done them yet. And by the way I don't think I've ever talked about this in a video. But I've now been doing it during streams as well. And many people actually reached out to me about this. Namely, if you pick up the daily or weekly contracts in another region, then you will also get slightly different missions. Like sure, the objectives and some of the enemies you have to kill are still the same, but it's in a different area. So then the daily and weekly missions are a bit more varied. So look for one of these red icons in a town or city, then you will find a child, pick up the contracts and these missions will be slightly different, which is nice. And I also already tried the new armor set during the stream where I encountered some enemies and I gotta say it's really, really bad I already predicted this but I did not predict that it would be this bad because the bonus is basically not noticeable at all you namely get 25 attack and 15 speed for three hits after a block when wearing the full set so let's look at this example here where I hit this drain gear without the buff and then I do like 31 and 40 damage and 41 damage later. So then I block the incoming attack and then you see the second perk above my health is from the armor set. And the other one is from the shield that I will touch on in a moment. Okay so then I need to find a moment to strike and then when I do I hit not 31 but 32 damage. Then 41 and another hit with 41. And again this 25 extra attack buff is only active for 3 hits. And you will actually see the perk from the armor set decrease after each hit. So it starts like completely full. And then after each hit it slightly goes down a bit. Another good example is first is this shield bearer. We both have an enormous flag spear. Because that's of course the highlight of this set. Like actually using a flag against an enemy now too. So against these enemies if you don't use abilities you have to wait for an opening. So I do that here and then without the armor set buff I do 37 damage and 48 damage. 
And all the footage is, by the way, on the very hard difficulty. Okay, now I block and I get the buff from the armor set. But the sad part is that the three hits also count if you hit a shield. So then you basically did not do any damage, but still lost the buff. The only nice part about this buff is that it doesn't have a timer. So it will just have the icon above your health. And then the next three times you strike, you get increased attack. So I now wait for the shield bearer to create an opening. And then I do the three increased damage hits. And instead of the 37 without the buff, I do 38 damage. And instead of 48 damage, I do 49 and 50. So you only get a damage increase of like one. There's really no need to play around this block mechanic. Because the buff from this armor set is completely useless. Like just using the fire strike and then taking the shield bearer out that way is way faster and stronger. So this set perfectly demonstrates that some stats like the extra attack don't really matter in Valhalla. The shield gives you 5 extra speed after a block for 10 seconds so it's also not that great. And you get 15 extra attack when using the flag with a shield. So that's also not really noticeable at all. And by the way, don't get me wrong, I'm actually pretty happy that this is not an overpowered armor set like the Gothic pack that easily gives you health back. I prefer it if new armor sets force you to play the game differently, what we really saw in Odyssey, but the reality is that the impact is just not noticeable at all, so there's no need to block with this armor set. So I really hope they look at this and make it so that your level and skill points have less impact versus your gear because the balance right now is out of control also good to note of course is that the set has major rune slots on every piece that will likely be changed with the next update already so then it only will have a major rune slot on the chest the armor set looks pretty cool though especially the mask with the hood and the mask is by the way part of the helmet it comes with a war horse mount that i showed you before that it's kind of like any other horse. There are cooler ones at the stable for sure. The eagle skin is another highlight though. I think it looks awesome. And there are of course way more cosmetics added to the game. That will at one point also arrive at Reda. The figure hat looks great with a statue of Alfred the Great holding a sword. Pretty massive as well. The tail looks kind of nice too. And the shields have these like angel drawings I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm not sure about the ship design but... I gotta say, overall, it looks pretty nice. We also find that massive statue as a settlement decoration. The big settlement tree has a flag that kind of sets it apart. Like, you can really make your settlement pro-Saxons, if that is what you want. You can also put that Saxon cross we saw as the till as a settlement decoration. Or, if you want just a regular looking tree... Well, that is possible as well. I kind of dig this, by the way. It looks like the most natural thing to have in your settlement. And you also got the Roman soldier statue that's quite large. Huge pillar with a statue on top. Tattoos are not that exciting in my opinion. I don't like the amount of stuff that is on your head. We got some snakes here and there. Not a huge fan. And I got this question a lot. We are, of course, in February now. So when do we see the river raids? I think and I hope next week or the week after that. The last update was almost three weeks ago and usually they are on a monthly sort of schedule and there are also no helix items in the files right now. So I think they want to have a new pack on February 18th at the latest. So that is when I expect the new update at the latest. But I'll of course let you know when we know more. I'm really excited about the river raids. I really hope it adds some much needed replayable content. You can watch a video, by the way, on the future of Assassin's Creed by clicking on the screen. The new game is coming, maybe sooner than you think. Or I will link to it after the screenshot showcase. Of course, you can send your screenshots to the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter. Or via the dedicated pictures channel on Discord. You can join my Discord via the link in the pinned comment. Accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay, Joyce, Photomod expert here on the channel. You chose three pictures from the community, so I'm curious which one you selected. What's up, everyone? Let's start with Road1991 over on Twitter, who shared this majestic shot of the Nilfheim Mount. Looking over a wintry landscape. Love the composition with the full moon in the background and the... Is it like magical dust yeah. coming from its antlers? I think uh. it's the sky. Or is it or is it the effect from the mount? Yeah, you might be right. I think it's from the mount. Yeah. 
Let's stay in the Winter Wonderland landscape for a moment with Gullet, who shared this ambient shot on the Discord channel. This picture must have been taken from a very high point in the game, with the clouds moving through the mountains and the peaks covered in snow. I thought this was in Norway at first, but looking at the gigantic sort of tree branch yeah. behind the mountain, I'm not so sure anymore. Yeah, this looks like Jotunheim for sure. Awesome shot. Yeah. And finally, it's time for redemption with King81 who shared this action shot over on Twitter. Love the pose of Eivor after you just beheaded his final enemy leaning on his sword. Together with the Galaglag armor, it gives this wild look. I wonder where the head went, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder if we get demonetized following this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we will find out soon enough. And I will then let you know in the next video. So totally subscribe, of course, for way more Valhalla content. A like on the video would really help us out. And totally check the previous Valhalla video or actually Valhalla on the next Assassin's Creed that might come sooner than you think. For now, we will speak to you next time, and goodbye. Goodbye.